of the day. It is pumpkin month here at Recipe of the Day, so we are making yummy, yummy pumpkin recipes this month. And today we are going to be making a yummy pumpkin and sausage soup today. And we are also making another pumpkin cocktail with our special pumpkin liqueur. So we are going to get this party started here today. Let me get my people up here so I can see your comments. Please comment so I know you're there and send me some hearts and some likes um, that I can see who's here today. So hey Erin, how are you? Welcome. Had very much fun today on an outing with Erin. Um, but we are going to get started with our soup here today. And so in my favorite pan back here, one of them, my Le Creuset that I just love. I got these for my wedding and I just love them. I got a couple um, and I would like to get a couple more someday. <laughs> but they're awesome. So I have in here one pound, one roll of Jimmy Dean spicy sausage that I just started browning up a, um, a little bit before you guys got here so we could um, speed this process up a little bit. But I've got the sausage going, and it started, and started browning. And to that, because I knew I was going to be in a hurry today, I went and got the, um, the Mirepoix from Trader Joe's, because I'm just going to, you know, cut corners here today. So this is the Mirepoix. Easiest way to cut corners on, on a soup is this. So I'm going to put that in. And Mirepoix is the grand trine, or the basis of most things, um, onion, carrots, and celery. So this recipe didn't call for uh, celery or carrots, but they're going in because I like more veggies anyway. So in the pan goes our mirepoix with our sausage. And then I'm going to, um, I can just see them scrolling by, Destiny. Can you see them? Tell me who's on there since I can, see, I can read my Facebook. Who's, who's on my Instagrammers? Um, so to that, I'm going to add a bag here of um, sliced white mushrooms from Trader Joe's again. I'm making this on the quick here. So this is a good, easy, quick uh, family dinner or lunch now that we're all home homeschooling. Um, we are um, making our quick recipes with what we have on hand. So I was trying to make thi this one as simple as I could. Um, and I cut a few quarters today rather than normal because we were... Um, had an outing today. The girls went on an outing and it was really fun. Okay, so to our sausage, the mirepoix, and the mushrooms, I'm going to add some spices here, just make sure I get them all. Um, I'm going to start with about four cloves of garlic that I um, uh, already crushed, so you didn't have to watch me do that. So the four cloves of, gar of garlic is going in. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Delish, and it's also crazy real estate weekend here in Ventura County. Busy, busy, busy. I've been on the phone constantly, so it is great out there. You know, anyone that wants to sell their house, let us know, because we have more buyers than sellers. Um, it's crazy out there. Okay, so I'm going to use one teaspoon of turmeric, and my teaspoons, they don't fit in here, because when I design the spice bottles, they will fit the teaspoons in the top of the bottle. So I'm going to use two of these because my teaspoon, the half a teaspoon fits in the top of the jar, but the teaspoon doesn't. So whoever designed the spice jars, it's not a cook. Okay, and then we're going to add two, let's get these in order here, two work, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning. And you know what I do when I, um, oh, that one will fit, yay! I put the dried seasonings, when you're using dried ones, in my hand and then you smash them when you're putting them in because it releases the flavor of the spice when you're using dried spice. So I'm going to use two teaspoons of that going in there. That's just Italian seasoning. And then we're going to do half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I get my cinnamon here, half a teaspoon. These, all these fall yum, yummy spices going in this soup, yummy. Hey, Seal, how are you? Welcome to the show. Get my half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm at the bottom of this jar. Yikes. And let's get some going. Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. The spices hit the heat and boom, you have yumminess. 
Yes. Let's stir this up a little bit. Oh my goodness. This is going to be delish. And that turmeric is already making it a beautiful yellow color. So we have got, let's see, get sure I got everything going in there. Cinnamon, Italian, turmeric, oh, ginger. I'm going to do some ginger. So let's do a uh, half a teaspoon of ginger. Yum! Now, normally I would use fresh, but we're going fast today. So I'm going to use half a teaspoon of ginger and then nutmeg. Nutmeg goes a very long way, so I'm just going to use a quarter of a teaspoon of nutmeg and get that in here. We are having a total heat wave. The weather is beautiful here, but it's warm, honey, don't you think? It is warm, and we did not turn on the AC. We actually have it. Most people here don't. We just open the window for some ocean breeze, but um, it is hot, and the lights are on. It is hot in the kitchen today. Uh, okay, so we're going to let that cook here for a minute and get cooked down. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Hold on, I'm going to show you this. It looks so good. So you guys can see how yummy this looks with the mushrooms, the maripot, and the sausage all browning up there. It looks yummy. So we will let that go there for a sec and make sure I've got everything going on in here. Oh my gosh, and how is your Saturday going so far, everyone? Where are you um, listening from? I always like to hear where you're from. Let me know. Uh, I know I've got Bay Area there, people that I know commenting. My sister on here yet? Hello, sister in Texas. Okay. I've uh, got the garlic in there, the spices. Make sure I've got it all going in there. Okay, let's put the pumpkin in. So I've got one can of our Yay Trader Joe's uh, pumpkin going in. And this is not pumpkin pie mix, it's just the pumpkin. So I'm going to throw that in. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Now you could chop those mushrooms down a little bit if you wanted to. But I'm just doing it right out of the bag. Just quick, quick and easy, different recipe for lunch or dinner. So let's get this one in here. Get all my pumpkin out of the can. And stir that in there. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so good and different and delicious. Okay. Yes. My director is giving me directions. <laughs> all right, so to that, um, we've got it all going in there. Now I'm going to add one box here of uh, free range chicken stock. So I put the box of stock in there and let it come to a boil. Oh, yummy. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Yes. Oh my gosh, now it just has another beautiful orange color here with our pumpkin and our turmeric, cinnamon. And of course, Mo, if you're watching, I'm using your special spoon. My custom GaryandLisa.com spoon from Wood Designs by Mo. Kiss the cook. You need a special custom gift. She just posted a bunch of new things on her site too. Wine charms, um, Christmas things. They're so cute. So, MyGaryandLisa.com, your real estate edge, spoon. Okay, so we're going to let that come up to a boil. And while we do that, I am going to make this cocktail. Oh my goodness. This smells and looks delicious already. Yes, it does. So did you know that today is National Mulligan Day? Do you play golf? Do you know what that is? Who knows what a mulligan is? comment there. Um, we'll see if you know. I do not play golf, but my husband does. Um, so I do know what that is. So we're going to make another fun pumpkin cocktail here. And it is a pumpkin fever cocktail. Bom, 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 bom. 
So I'm going to start here with my shaker, my handy dandy shaker here. I already have ice in my shaker, but I'm going to dump the water out while it's been sitting there for a minute because it is, like I said, quite warm. So to my shaker, I'm going to add it's our pumpkin liqueur that we ordered special. So because I need my measuring spoon, I am going to put my, this is one ounce, but in my world, it's one eighth of a cup. It's just how my brain works. So one eighth of a cup of half and half, because that's what I had. It called for cream, but I used all my cream making scones last night. I tried the uh, blueberry goat cheese scones. Oh my gosh, they were quite delicious. But I made them with what I had, our COVID cooking. And what I had, I used to use two ounces of this pumpkin liqueur and the one ounce of half and half. But you can use cream, that's what you have. And then I'm gonna use this Captain Morgan spiced rum. Ooh, baby. So let's, you can see, I went, like I said, I went to, Be to Bevo and the lady at, Be at Bevo was helping me find all these things that I didn't have. Well, I didn't need big, huge bottles of all these things because I don't know when the next time I'm going to make a pumpkin fever cocktail. <laughs> but we've got spiced rum and our pumpkin liqueur and our half and half. And we're going to give that a shake here. So hang on to your hat here while we shake this baby up. Ooh. But fun on the new cocktail ideas, don't you think? All these cool things that we've made. Yeah. Yummy. Okay, so to our, I'm going to prep our glass here, and so to, I have some sugar here on the plate, and I'm going to add a little bit here of our homemade pumpkin spice that we made on the first pumpkin show, beginning of the month, and put a little bit of pumpkin spice on here, on our sugar, because this is, I'm going to rim our glass with this. So to keep in our pumpkin theme, I'm just going to mix that up a little bit. Woo. Oh my gosh, give it a little bit of a pumpkin spice taste of our sugar. And I put a little ice and water in my beautiful martini glass to chill it down. And then I'm going to use this lemon to wet the rim of my glass because I had it left from the frosting I made this morning for the blueberry scones, blueberry goat cheese scones. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to rim this glass with a little sugar and pumpkin spice. Oh my gosh, this is yummy already, huh? Look at that. Now you can rim your glasses if you're having a party ahead of time um, and then put them in, in the freezer. So you pull, pull, you pull them out and they're cold and they're all rimmed and ready to go. So here we go, let's shake up our cocktail and pour it in there and see how our pumpkin fever cocktail tastes. Oh my gosh, look at that. What a beautiful color that is. Looks like pumpkin fever to me, huh? Yeah, baby. Okay. Cheers on our cocktail, huh? Mmm. Oh my goodness. That is delicious. You're like rum has a, because rum, you know, always reminds me of, me of the warm, balmy breezes. And that's definitely what that tastes like a warm balmy breeze with a pumpkin spice flair so yummy on our cocktail there hmm delish okay let me check on my soup here it is coming to a boil oh my gosh that looks delish so it is almost to a boil but I am going to speed that right along here and we are going to add the I'm going to add the cream, but first I'm going to add the cornstarch. So in my measuring cup here, I have a, a little less than a third of a cup of cornstarch I'm going to use to thicken it up. And I'm going to add just about a third of a cup of water to the measuring cup. And we're going to thicken up our soup. That's right! Marsha got it right! You're right, girl! Mulligan's a do-over! That's it, girl! How are you? Thanks for watching! Our pumpkin sausage soup and then our pumpkin fever cocktail that is quite delicious. My Instagrammers, do you see that? My Instagrammers, there you go. Pretty color, huh? Okay, so to my soup, now whenever you're gonna thicken something up, 
I always prefer to use cornstarch than flour, but that's just me. Um, but this is just, a call. it's called a slurry. So this is just equal parts cornstarch and water. I'm going to put it in our soup just to thicken it up. So I'm going to put this in here. And it'll thicken up in a minute. Oh my gosh. This is going to be so good. I just thought all these yummy pumpkin things I've read and things, you know, not normally make. So I thought this one sounded delicious. Okay, so to that, I'm going to now add, I think I'm going to add the cream next. And I'm going to add the cream next. So I have half a cup of half and half. That's what I had left from my scone ba uh, baking experience. So half a cup of half and half going in. And then I'm going to finish it. Oh my gosh, it's thickening right up. Now normally I'd let this go probably 10 minutes or so and it'll get nice and, th and thickened up. But you guys are watching, so I'm going to speed it up here. And I've got two cups of grated sharp cheddar cheese. This recipe called for smoked cheddar cheese, and I am not a smoked fan. So since you guys aren't eating it, and we are, we're using regular sharp cheddar cheese going in. So two cups of that. And really, one of the things from doing the show that I have learned is that those little squares, and how many ounces it was, I think eight ounces of block cheese. Of course, what do we always do? We always grate our own cheese, right? Always. Because if you buy the pre-grated cheese, um, it has that stuff on it. And it sticks together and it doesn't melt. So always, always, always grate your own cheese. But that block, it's about this big. I think it's eight ounces. When you grate it, it's exactly two cups. Pretty close. So to that, yeah, I don't think I used any salt yet. So I'm make sure I've got salt going on in here. I want to taste it first because the sometimes the chicken stock has a lot of salt. Um, so I'm going to taste it first. So I'm going to stir this in the cheese. Oh my goodness. Does this look delicious? So let me give it a taste before I salt it. And then we will check it out and see if it needs salt. Ooh, very hot. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Very hot though. Um, director, would you like to taste this? Well, I don't want to spill it, so you take that. Okay. My professional opinion is it does need salt and pepper. So let me grab some salt and pepper here. Because you know, nothing has enough pepper for me. So we will throw some pepper in here. And it's really starting to thicken up here, which looks delicious. Yummy. Big bowl of soup, we need lots of pepper. Not crazy about the grinder on that one. But it's working. And some salt. A few turns of salt going on there. And then I will be ready to show you what this deliciousness looks like here. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. And that for a quick and easy, because we're done here, just a few minutes of a delicious idea for lunch or dinner that's quick and different and pumpkin for our pumpkin month theme. So I'm going to take some of this and serve it up in my bowl here so I can show you. Now I probably serve this because just how we like things, really spicy, serve this with some red pepper flakes. Be a little sour cream, a little cheese on top, a little chives. I didn't get out my gar my garnishes tonight because we were in a hurry, but here we go. Our pumpkin sausage soup that looks and smells really delicious and something new and different. So there we go. Cocktail, pumpkin, soup, pumpkin, and we're having a great Saturday. So we have a bunch of birthday shout outs today. Oh my goodness gracious. Hold on a second. Make room here. He wants me to move my gear here. Good. And let me grab my, my birthday shout outs. October is a very popular month to have your birthday. So here we go with our birthday shout outs. Boop, 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 boop. Birthday shout outs today to Marty Gellin Stubbs, realtor in La Jolla. If you need to buy a house in La Jolla, she's your girl. Uh, it's her birthday today, so hope you're having a fun birthday. 
And then we missed a couple this week that happened between Wednesday and now because we are live here Wednesdays and Saturdays at 3 o'clock. Um, and so you can watch us here, you watch us on YouTube, enter our real estate Instagram. We are here to entertain and show you some tips and tricks on cooking quickly for your family. Um, Dee Dee Kennedy, you'll always be Dee Dee Kennedy to me, childhood friend. It was her birthday this week. And Gary Martinez, they are also Gary and Lisa. It was his birthday this week. And Darlene, I cannot believe I missed your birthday. Darlene Roscoe, we've got to get something on the calendar. I miss you, haven't seen you in forever, but happy birthday to you, dear friend. Um, and then Monday, we have our illustrious general counsel for Berkshire Hathaway. It is her birthday on Monday, Martha Mosier. Happy birthday to the smartest, most wonderful, and most gorgeous attorney there is. Um, she works for Berkshire Hathaway, and we love her. So happy birthday to you. And it is also today National Pasta Day, if you can believe that, Pasta Day, because October is National Pasta Month. And so I almost made a pasta dish today, but I will be making it um, before our pumpkin run is out, so I won't tell you what that is, but it's a delicious one. Here is my pumpkin um, uh, decorations here for my head. I forgot to put on it at the beginning because we're celebrating pumpkin month. So it's pasta month and pasta officially day today. And then our drawing today that we're doing for pumpkin month are these awesome, um, of course my color, bags. And they are canvas tote bags. They can be a carry bag for your kids for Halloween. They can be a purse. They can be a centerpiece. They can hold a plant. I just thought they were the cutest. They can be all kinds of things. And you know, they glow in the dark. So our fun gift is that today. So if you have commented or liked on these videos on Facebook or YouTube, you are in the fish. So who is winning the pumpkin today? Who is feeling it? Who wants it? Winner, winner, winner. Let's see who it is today. Do, 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 do. Oh my gosh. I get one. I got more than one. There we go. It is up. Oh, she's in there twice because she already won one this month. <laughs> so she must be, she won on Wednesday and she already won this. So we will skip that one. Any of you that follow that closely. It is Tammy Stewart. Winner, winner. Congratulations to you, girl. I haven't seen you in a while, so now I will get to when I drop off your pumpkin. So hope you're having a great Saturday. We love when you guys watch live. We are here Wednesdays and Saturdays, live at 3 o'clock. You can visit us at Ventura Real Estate on YouTube. And remember, there's only two things you can control, your effort and your attitude. So always pick a good one and always do your best. And for all your Ventura County real estate needs, visit us at GaryandLisa.com. We love to talk about real estate, and it is what we do. So thank you for watching. We love you, and we look forward to seeing you Wednesday at 3 o'clock. See you then.